We are trying out Primordia for an hour. It's an adventure of the point-and-click variety, is my understanding. Don't know much about it. All I know is that it has a pretty strong look and sound, and we're going to get immersed in its pixelness for the next hour. Why don't we start a game? We can do that and learn about this world. That is very brown and rainy. I don't see a single blade of grass, but I do see a glowing firefly. It came from that. Is that like an organ? Like a giant organ? It might be. It was a dark and stormy night. Almost there. One more setting. One more setting? So the unique is operational. One down, one million to go. Speaking of which, boss, I found exactly none of the parts you wanted. A whole day at the junk pile, and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time. Uh, boss, are you sure you got those settings right? Do we have the set? Let's go. Maybe we don't have the settings right. All right, uh, down here into the hatch. What is this thump? We need to investigate. I assume this is engineering. Machine? There's no time for the machine. This looks important. Is something wrong with my floating glowing gem? Oh no, we're being invaded! Red alert! Crispin, get behind me. Who are you and what do you want? Power. I think he wants the power core, boss. Stop right there. This ship belongs to me. Forfeit. Enemy. Wonder. I don't think he's too keen on private property. Get away from the power core. Ow. And that's the end of my story. Oh, no, he, he's up. He's up. Boss? He, he, he got better. Boss? Horatio? Come on, Horatio, wake up! Ugh. Well, he took our... He took our little stone. What happened? Well, Big Ugly threw you out of the ship. And then he said, plunder. Again. And then he left with our power core. Basad. Yep. How much charge have you got? Ten percent. You? I'll be fine. We just need to get the emergency generator up and running. Or we could just go to Metropole, city of glass and light. Free energy for one and all. Don't believe everything you hear. Metropole is trouble. But if you want to go, you've got free will in a maglev unit. With that guilt subroutine you put in me, I wouldn't even make it halfway. Actually, with a ten percent charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. <sighs> you and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. Yeah, we don't want to go to the city. Can't trust anyone there. You know, boss, if you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. We like to live by our own, out here in the wilds. We have true freedom out here, but what we don't have is power because that other robot had the true freedom to steal our power source. Crispin? That's crazy talk. Here's Crisp Crispin on the tail wing. That's crazy talk. He does not want to be used. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. 
Nothing worth salvaging. I can't pick that up. We cannot. I don't have I don't have anything in my inventory. Well, okay, I I dropped this. I must have dropped the data pouch when I was thrown out of the unique. All right, get that. Here's the sod. Its memory got wiped. Easy enough to add the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though. And nothing is going well for us right now. All right, we got some screens here. Data. The data pouch is registered to me. Let's go to the junk pile. There's nothing worth bothering with. I can't see anything to do with it. It's locked tight. Brisbane, can you... Maybe you should check out the emergency generator and see if you can get it running. Actually, I was going to ask, can you break open a locked box? Yep, that's the one I found. Now he's just proud that he found it. There's nothing worth bothering with. There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. Crispin, you're small. I can't use myself until you give me hands. He can't use anything except for himself. Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? I suppose... That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. All right. What's this other one? That's map. A segment of Gordium Conduit. It's locked tight. It's just scrap. Well, most of it's just a broken robot. Picked it clean years ago. To build anything, we have to rely on finding supplies coming from broken down machinery. We can't actually create anything new. It's just scrap. All we can do is recycle. New things stopped being built a long time ago. Now we're on a dying world, just trying to make the most of what little we have until the end. I'm not seeing anything else around. There's the lockbox, but still locked. Unless I can like bash it open with the conduit. Futile. Futile. I doubt that will have any effect. I doubt that will have any effect. Yeah, you know, my idea of hits hit something with this apparently is not working. I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. It's not going to do anything until the generator's fixed. There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Ah. Who's the procrastinator? Me? I, I, I love procrastinating. It's one of life's greatest pleasures. Hey, is there something I need to do now? No. No, there isn't. That can wait till later. There's nothing quite like it. I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. All right, I, I can't have just one. Much like with Pringles, I need many. Like this one. It's a segment of Gordium Electrical Conduit. All right, there's two conduits. I can't just scoop it up. Crispin. Uh, can you drink it? Hey, Crispin, want a bath? You sure are chipper, boss, given that we're slowly dying out here. Oh, I died in here a long time ago, Crispin. What's happening on the outside is just matching the inside. It's the Unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently not. Look, someone thought it was very cool to call their ship the Unique and spell it with the Unique spelling. It's the Unique... It's the... A sturdy cable. Oh, we took that. Hmm. 
Another conduit. There we go. Conduit. That's three. There's no way I can reach that. Maybe someone here can reach that. Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. Just kind of knock it over on top of me. There we go. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard to reach ledges? Well, that too. There's no way I can reach that. Well, I have some. Well, is, is, is it too big for him? Can he can he push it? It's way too big for me to get, boss, and you know it. Yeah, it's, it's boss. I can't possibly take something that large. The hatch is unresponsive. So I have just to make sure. Whoop, hold on. So this is described as three conduits, cable, lantern, data pouch. Can't go in. We only have three conduits. Do I want to like put anything in the grease? All it would do is gum them up, not hold them together. All right, I'm gonna need something to hold them together. Can I combine with cable? Data cable, not a power cable. I cannot. A good length of heavy-duty cable designed for carrying data. A reliable electric lantern that I cobbled together years ago. Well, I'm sure I don't have enough to use on this, but, you know, make sure we try. I'll need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. Anything else here? Oh, there's spark plug. When I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. No wonder the generator isn't working. At least the putty is still good. Oh, we got putty. Look, you have sometimes you just have to be innovative, you know? You have to think of new solutions for old problems. Like we need a new spark plug. Maybe we don't have a spark plug. Maybe what we do have is putty. This putty. Not a bad idea, but it can't carry enough of a charge, and it isn't sticky enough to hold them in place. The cable's far too long to be useful. That's never going to work. A bunch of pieces, but not enough pieces. We need more pieces. Where are these pieces? All right, we have the the top of it where we have like a throne. No time for sitting around. Seems out of place. Without power from the ship, the telescope won't work. Bad timing with those repairs, huh, boss? Maybe not anything else on top of here. Only a little sliver left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. Strange clouds, huh, boss? Let's see if we have any pipe in here. Dark to see the ladder runs. Oh, okay, it's your ship. You should be able to traverse it with no light at all. Come on now. We do have this lantern. Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. Uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. Routing that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. Sorry. I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. There are worse things. Yeah, there are worse things to be. Sweet. It is pretty sweet. Oh. Gospel? Couldn't hurt to bring the gospel of man with us. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. Just a little reading for us. Read about the good word. Okay, we, we can read about the good word. 
In the beginning, all was still and silent. Then man, the all builder, spoke the word, and the word begat the code. And so the world began to spin. Thus dawned the primordium, the first age, the age of building. Man moved across the world and built many wonders. In the heavens he paved the sky roads, on the land he raised mystic towers, and in the dark depths he dug colossal caves. Mystic Tower and Colossal Cave are games. Is Sky Road a game? I don't I don't not sure about that one. Most incredible of all were the many machines designed by man, but still the all builder was not satisfied. Oh, was there more? Uh, yeah. Okay. And so, with both his hands, man built a body of steel in his own image, and with his right hand he gave logic, and memory he gave with his left. Then man said, Now I will quicken this machine with the spark of power, and together we shall walk upon the earth. And it was done. Thus spun the world, and grew the code, and multiplied the living machines, and slowly passed the primordium. Who can count the versions and generations that marked that age? In time, the old builder looked upon the many things he had built, the sky roads and mighty towers, and above all upon the living machines. Where weary with his labor, man sat himself beside the robots and said unto them, For you, my children, I spoke the word, and fired the engine of the world. For you I wrote the code, and to you I gave logic, and memory. Then man the all builder stood and took the machines in his hands and guided them to a great mountain top. Together they looked upon the world in its beauty. All this was made for you, and now unto you all this is given. Keep it, tend it, and make it flourish. And the all builder fell silent and passed from the world, and so ended the primordium. We are lesser machines, built by those built by man. As we are but humble images of the All-Builder, so he is the perfection of our forms. A machine of unbreakable form, endless memory, and absolute logic. For this we revere him, and speak the word, and keep the code, and tend the world he gave to us. End of line. So that's where you keep it. Why were you looking for my plasma torch? No reason. We okay, examine the bed. No it's all. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. Because you have a flat bottom to rest on. Uh, boss, were you checking out my bottom? <sighs> we love them flat bottom droids. And it's always time for a nap. I find it offensive to suggest that there is a time when it is not time for a nap. It's outrageous. All right, plasma torch. For cutting and welding, it can't be beat. We need to cut and weld. The controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Yeah, I guess we can't look at the other rooms. I don't need to bring these with me. After all, boss, life is stranger than fiction. If we're robots, why do we need books? Can't we retain all this in memory? I can't pick that up. Can I weld it? There's no reason to cut that or burn it or weld well, it. Well, if you say so. Alright, so in there we got the Bible. We got we got we got the plasma torch. Can I use it on other items? Found 
need at least five pieces to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the unique. Okay, so when, when I get all the pieces, I can weld them together with the torch. Let's cut a little cable off. All right, we're okay. We got a little, just a little, just a little bit of cable. There's no reason to cut that or burn it or weld it. All right, what do I do with my tiny cable? Okay, I put the putty on the short cable. How would that even work? I don't know. I don't know what I'm using it for. How would that even work? I doubt that will have any effect. All right, I have a tiny piece of cable with putty at the end. I... The conduct... The condu so what will I do with that? is unresponsive. Do I need to get the large lantern? Going to work. Can I, like, use the this cable as, like, a lasso? Feudal. I don't, I don't know if I actually need it. But well, we found, I think, three conduits. Can I dunk this in the grease? I don't want to get that dirty. All right. I assume we don't. I just, I don't know what we're doing with it, but maybe we don't want to get it dirty. Can I torch it? That could cause the whole unique to go up in smoke. That would be pretty awesome, though. I'm just saying we shouldn't disqualify the possibility. All right. Stuff I have here. Feudal. Yeah, we're not gonna do we're not gonna do that. I doubt that will have any effect. No effect. Well, I mean we know what we do with the socket. We're gonna have to get five of the pipes and then time and then put them together with the with that. I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. We got a leaky hose. How would that even work? I don't know. Weld the cable. That could cause the whole unique to go up in smoke. Put cable on hose? I doubt that will have any effect. It will not. So, what exactly do we need to fix the generator? Some conduit and a new spark plug. Well, we have three of the five conduits. A new spark plug. Well, we were using the putty as a makeshift spark plug. We took that off and we put it on the short cable. There are two locations to examine as far as we know. The data pouch is registered to me. Was there anything else to be found at the junk? There's the lockbox, which we can't open. How would that even work? All right, can we cut it open? Let's see if this works. Is that a spark plug, boss? Who locks up a spark plug? Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. It's the circle of life. Someone has to die for us to live. Well, we found the spark plug anyway. Now we just need two more conduits. I picked it clean years ago. Still locked. And we cut it open? It's a reinforced steel. We don't know until you try. It's a reinforced steel. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. There's no re There's no reason. I would wait. I would waste the torch's whole charge before cutting through this. It's just scrap. 
You know, boss, I spend hours looking through junk. Maybe you could spend a little more time in the junk pile yourself? What do we normally do with our time? The only thing we know is that we were fixing our uh, telescope for some reason. Okay, so on this screen, we found one of the conduits and we found a spark plug. Just a run of the mill spark plug. Alright, so that is there. We don't have enough conduits yet. Two more conduits hide from us somewhere. I won't leave it running until I can connect it to the unique. We didn't see any in the junk. Don't see any on this screen here. Doesn't seem like he wants to do anything with the grease. Blasted leaking gasket. Is it blasted or leaking? And we can't, we don't have a means to patch up the hose. Oh, we didn't walk over here yet. Is that a gumball machine? No, it's a robot's head. Ah, uh, I wanted a gumball. Nothing worth salvaging. I wouldn't say that. I mean, this is worth salvaging right here. You could probably do something with that. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. I can't pick that up. Not with that attitude. Seeing anything coming up. Boss, does it ever bother you that the only thing attaching the unique to its tail is a cable? No. I think I'm starting to figure out how this ship must have crashed. Do we need to tie a cable on? That's never going to work. Alright, if you say so. Hmm. Can we burn things? There's no reason to. There's no reason. There's no reason. There's no reason. Well, this is a whole ass screen over here, which. I'm not really seeing anything on it. Feudal. How would that. E That's never. That's never. How would that... Just gotta move that cursor on every pixel. You know how it go. It leads up to the... If only... You know what the games... You know what these games are like. Everything's gotta get touched. There's no way I can reach that. And if I can't find what to do, it just means that there's something here I have not touched. We can't do anything with this large lantern. Crispin doesn't want to get it. I mean, can we, like, use the cable on him? Where would I carry it? I mean, I was just sticking up there. No. We cannot. And we're back up here. We can... Time for sitting around. We cannot sit in the chair because it is not time for sitting around. When is it time for sitting around? I guess that's not important. The important thing is, is that right now is not the time. Can I torch the telescope? There's no reason. Or the chair? There's no reason. No. Just torch everything. Boss, don't you think things are dystopian enough without you burning books? There's no reason to cut. There's no reason. I'm trying. There's also the sheet metal on the on the floor, which sa he says we have no reason to, to do anything to burn it or cut it or anything. So, Pick that up. I guess that's 
I guess there's nothing we're doing with it. Controls for this hatch are unresponsive. Right, that's right. We can't actually go back out in, well, in the ship because there's no power. Well, that just, just means there's a pixel or two somewhere I'm just not clicking on. No, that wasn't anything in particular. Once again, we do have our map. The only other location is junk. Oh, wait, there's something here. It's three pieces of Gordium conduit. Wow, three whole pieces. See, that was that was the pixel. Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. Okay, so we have two, and that's that's exactly what we need. Yeah, this that bit right here. That was that was the the bit of pixels that I had not clicked on. All right, we have five conduits. Can we use it with this? Time for a little welding. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. We now have. The fused conduit. A good length of fused conduit. It's a good length. It's a pretty good length. Nothing to brag about. It's average length for a conduit. All right, emergency power on. But how long does emergency power last? thought we were in trouble when Big Ugly stole our core. But just like that, problem solved. The problem is not solved. Well, I agree. The noise leaves something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? No. Which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case... First dibs on the recharge station! So, what's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury! First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can't you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. Can you just make one of those, too? I'm just asking. No, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor, though man alone knows where it's buried now. Now, I have a feeling that later in the game, we might find out that this Metropol is not all that it's cracked up to be. I don't know, just a feeling. The only way I can use this is by Join plugging us. something in. And together, let us begin a, new a simple computer interface with a socket for connecting external hardware. Weary wanders, come. Join us in Metropole. City of Glass How would that even and work? Light. I just thought I would plug my thing into that. I guess I cannot. Here is Haven for all it needs a plug. A simple Join us computer. in all Alright, that's what leads out here. There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. Man, they just have constant advertisements for Metropole playing, don't they? I bet I can find a better use for this plug. But now we can't listen to the sweet voice of Metropole. I guess that makes two birds. Well, so they're not even playing any programming. It's the advertisement is the programming. It's a universal interface plug. 
It fits, but there's no point unless I connect the plug to something else first. It fits. A simple... A simple... Alright, so of course that means combining this with everything. Okay, that works. It still needs a... It still needs a sodium iodide crystal and a computer. Alright, well I have the computer here, but I don't have my crystal. Need to find one. The original designs for Crispin. Hey, there are arms here! And an awesome set of tractor treads! I went with a maglev unit instead, and I never could find good arms. I mean, the pl our plans never work out the way we think they're going to. Just because I designed him with arms doesn't mean that we were able to go with arms. Corners had to be cut, and, uh... Boss, is it okay if I sleep in the cradle until we have a new power core? No. It's Crispin's to-do list. Funny how it never gets any shorter. That's your fault, boss. Not mine. I found this in the dunes. It reads, Pound pastrami, canned kraut, six bagels, bring home for Emma. Wow, a sacred text from the humans. There's the design. I'll put the keynotes into my data pouch. How does it even work? The crystal pulses when it absorbs energy. The cable carries the pulse to the computer. The computer decodes the information and displays it on the monitor. Uh, boss, where are we going to find a working computer? The unique is full of them. Oh, right. Yeah, there's one on the wall. The energy in this room. requires a sodium iodide crystal connected to a cable, which in turn needs to be connected to a CPU and a monitor. So we still need to find this crystal. A Quentin Questron LCD monitor. That record player was a good find, Crispin. I still think you should have let me have its arm. I'm pretty sure that arm came from a sewing machine. On second thought, maybe I should have let you have it. Just some reminders I left to myself. Huh. Our rag. Wow. First the power core and now a rag. This is not your day. I don't think that would be wise. I don't need that. I can't pick that up. I don't think that would be wise. Well, we probably want to fix this at some point. Yet another reason that besotting robot should be reduced to scrap. I guess let's head outside and see if we can find that rag. I didn't search all of this, all of this room. I don't need any of these right now. Let's hope it stays that way. I don't need... Crispin, why is your diary still scattered all over the floor? Are you going to keep nagging me until we run out of power, boss? Yes. Where else would he keep his diary? You keep things on the floor. That's how you know they're there. I've never been able to figure it out. Hey boss, what do all these buttons and switches do? I think they're some sort of defense mechanisms, but I can't figure them out. Well, if their defense would have been useful for, you know, the, the attack. I can't pick- That piece of sheet metal really ties the room together, boss. I still don't see why I don't get a bed. Because you have a look at. I still don't. I still. And apparently, it is still not time for a nap. This is no time for sitting around. Is it time for using this telescope? Apparently so, but I don't have numbers. This isn't the time to test out the telescope. Okay, it's not the time for this. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I guess let's look for a rag. There's a rag. Hopefully, finding the power core will be just as easy. I doubt it. Why do we need a rag? An old rag. Yes. An old rag indeed. Do we want to dunk this rag in some grease? We, we do, yes. That was a perfectly good rag. Good for what? He could have buffed me till I shine, boss. At least then, when they found my powerless chassis lying in the dunes, they'd say, wow, look at that gorgeous piece of machinery. I think I'd rather have some grease. It was perfectly good, but now it's a perfectly good greasy rag. Oh, sticky rag. The rag is covered in sticky grease. This rag is sticky. Okay, what do I need a sticky rag for? Have we seen anything that could benefit by with some stickiness? As much as I'd love to fix that leak someday, we have more important things to do. Very funny, boss. So, if we go to this interface, we can probably plug something in at this point, like this. It needs a sodium iodide crystal to be useful. Yeah, we don't have our crystal. We need to connect the crystal to this, then we can connect it to the computer, and then the computer will show us something. We also have this LSD screen, LCD screen, but what do we do with that? How would that even work? I don't know. A Quentin Questron LCD monitor. Why do we need a monitor? That's never... There's nothing I can do with it until I have some kind of power source. Futile. Just rub my, rub my sticky rag on everything. That's never going to work. Futile. Very funny, boss. Just some reminders I left to myself. How would that even work? I doubt that will have any effect. That's never going to work. I doubt that will have any effect. It's the Unique's recharging station. We're fine on energy, for now. I'm not seeing any other clickables in this room. back here, which hmm would there be anything to do in here? That's never going to work. Well, if we found something that was slippery, we maybe we could unslip it with a sticky rag, but it doesn't seem like we found anything like that. Oh, Captain's chair. I moved it here from navigation. This is no time for sitting around. Same old moon. Same old moon. Same Well, maybe one thing we could try. I don't know if it's anything we'd need to do at this point. Well, no, we can't. I was about to say, why not put the plug in back into the radio? Because the radio was saying what the coordinates uh, were for Metropol. Maybe we could look at it in the telescope. That's never going to work. Right, but I guess we don't need to do that. So he said that there was a crystal that he was looking for, but he doesn't know where the... Since you programmed me, you can predict my every action, right? No, most of what you do is governed by a random number generator. Mmm, sprockets. 
Crisp and Horatio built, version 1. He'll be version 2 once I put some arms on him. He is my best and only friend. How do you lose a crystal, boss? If I had one, I'd attach it to my head. That's why I put it somewhere you wouldn't find it. You can't hide something shiny forever. Mm. Where would he not be able to find something? Hop on, boss. I'll fly us to the moon. Very funny. Boss, since everything else awesome in the unique, by which I mean the plasma torch, turns up in your room, maybe we should look there for the crystal. Well, we, I guess we could. I believe that we've looked around that room. It didn't seem like there was anything else. We could look under the bed again. I still don't see why I... He still doesn't see why he doesn't get a bed. I can't pick that up. He cannot pick that up. Okay, there it is. Aha! Here's the crystal. Right under our noses. That is, if we had noses. Are you really trying to build us an energy sensor from a bunch of garbage? Crispin, I built you from a bunch of garbage. From spare parts, boss. Spare parts. I think Crispin could have easily have found that. Or maybe he's just not maybe he's just not allowed in the room. Normally. This is an emergency though. So he is. All right. Um, crystal? A sodium iodide crystal. It pulses when exposed to energy. Well, just goes to show. Garbage in, greatness out. It still needs a CPU to hook into in some kind of display. Well, we have the LCD. I need to plug them into a computer. All right. The only way I can use this is by plugging something in. That's correct. All right. I mean, we already have a display here. I guess the LCD isn't needed. Uh, let's see. Do I need to write that down? I find that I am a little bit unprepared as I don't have pencil and paper nearby. I am going to have to quickly type something down. Six five two eight one seven six zero oh, eight. The sensor is detecting energy at these coordinates. A simple computer inter... Now we just need to check out these coordinates. But didn't you just tell me we don't have enough power to go walking all over the dunes? No, I said we couldn't walk to Metropole. Anyway, most of these are close by. But what if it's picking up... Oh, I don't know. A radioactive rust monster. A what? Or a giant cannibal robot? There's no such thing. Or an unexploded bomb. I highly doubt that. Or a giant lightning storm. Okay, you're right. We need to know what's out there before we take off. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Why is nothing easy? I can think of one reason. Well, but maybe we do have a way of, of finding out what's there before we take off. Six, five, two. Nothing but radioactive waste. We can't salvage anything from that. Can I plug in all three numbers? There's the first one was six, five, two. Then there was eight, one, seven. Um, boss? That looks like a giant cannibal robot to me. It looks promising is what it looks like. And with that, poor doomed Horatio stuck his head into the giant's mouth. All right, we got robot listed down. I guess we could try our third set of numbers. 608. That's strange. The sensor detected an energy source in the junk pile. Maybe we should go look more carefully. energy in the junk. Well, why don't we check out the robot first? What is this ro big cannibal robot? Yeah, that's a, that's a large robot. 
That is not small. That is that is hefty. A hefty a hefty mecha. That is one big robot. Then it must have a big power core. I'm pretty sure he wants to eat me, boss. Robots don't eat, Crispin. Look how he's staring at me. It's not staring at anything. No, not yet anyway. Well, we have to find a way to get at its power core. Let's look around. I'm glad that Horatio was going by the classic mantra. You are huge. You must have huge guts. It's true every time. Anyone home? Crispin, help me take a look at these vents. Yep, look right up in there. I can feel air moving. I can feel air moving. That is one big robot. All right, there's air moving. Is that a mouth or some kind of doorway? Either way, I'm steering clear of it. It's corroded, but I can't break into it with my bare hands. There is a band of corroded metal on this fingertip. If I could break it off, I might be able to get at the robot's power cables. Mm. Well, the only thing that maybe could do something, I guess, is the torch. Uh, boss, are you really gonna cut that finger off? Just the tip. Why? To see if we can get at power cables to tap into. You sure you're not just torturing the poor guy? No. But to tell you the truth, for some reason I don't like the look of him. That's what I've been saying all along, boss. Just let me concentrate. Yep, we're doing it. We're cutting off a fingertip. Bugs and glitches. There are no power lines running through here at all. How would... All that for a rusty fingertip. Can it generate power? No. Just checking. How strange. Expecting to find wiring going through there, but no wiring is to be found. Why would that be? A giant fingertip made of corroded steel. Well, I mean, there's only one thing we could do with a giant metal finger, and that's stick it in a giant metal nose. There's no way I can reach that. Well, Crispin can reach it. And then, he, and then he can stick it in there. There's no way I can reach that. I can feel air moving. That is one big robot. I'm not ticklish, boss. Crispin, try shoving this into that vent. Yeah, there you go. There's something ironic about that. Ironic and disturbing. There's no way I can reach that. There's no way I can reach that. A giant fingertip made of corroded steel. That is one big robot. Right, is there anything else we can jam into the other into the other nose? Sticky. Maybe get some sticky grease up in there. Could you try pushing this rag into the vent? Seriously? Yes. Uh, so much for getting buffed. There, it's clogged. I hope you're happy. Very. There you go. Boss, you did it again. In we go. We? Oh, by the hand of man, come on. I'm telling you, boss, that thing wants to eat me. Crispin. Fine, but you go first. Unidentified robot. We will too. Parts of the great. The great what? That data is lost. Well, I am Horatio Nobelt, version 5. Now yeah. we are Alpha and Beta. More or less. Boss, I'm pretty sure these guys took one EMP blast too many along the line. What happened to you? What happened to you? Virus. Doom. Escape. Too much data. Too little memory. 
Back incomplete. Division. Fragmentation. Madness. You got that right. I'm looking for a big robot. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws that shoot lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. The answer is lost. Fragmented. Jala. We seek unification. Resurrection. Vengeance. From Jala. Unity. Enemies. Answers. He knows. But he's not mad. Mad. Pot meat kettle. Ah. Ah, uh, mad robots. They have all the wisdom, but they're mad, so... Do you have a power core? It would make things very easy for us if you did. Do you have a power core? Activating diagnostic module. Memory and reasoning system. Shut down for virus quarantine. Higher reasoning downloaded to servitors Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Uh, boss, is it just me, or did Alpha just stop being crazy? Ventilation system. Primary ventilators clogged. Obstruction unknown. Secondary ventilation engaged. Power system. Partially damaged. Power level functioning at 83.1%. Power core charge sufficient to maintain present operations for 4,553,199,011.3 hours. That's a lot of hours. Communication system. Okay, enough. Terminating well, maybe they could share a little bit of a power core, maybe. Can we have your power core? Can we have your power core? No, Gamma. Perhaps. Perhaps. Gamma, yes. Gamma might say yes. Yes. You're an incomplete backup? You're an incomplete backup? We are Alpha, Beta, and Alpha Satisfactory. Are you reasoning? Unavailable. Gamma. Gamma. Gamma Who is Gamma? Who is Gamma? So they need Gamma in order to defragment themselves and return to a single entity. Since when do you speak crazy? I've spent my whole life with a hermit who worships a mythological machine called man. I'd say crazy is my first language. Where is this Gamma? Where is Gamma? Hello. Hiding. Would not. Join. Always. Hiding. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I guess that's all the information we're going to get from them. If we could find Gamma and bring them back, maybe we could get them to part with their, with their power core. Make everyone happy. Like, okay, there we go. Well, I think that is our hour. We've been we've been going at it for, for with Primordia for an hour. Some point and clicking adventuring. I do like the artwork. I do like the the sound and the vibe. I can't believe you convinced me to stand inside a giant robot's mouth. Hey, pl plenty of people pay good money to get artwork commissioned of that. So. Let's not pretend that we're above anything here. That's been our hour. Um, it's just about surviving in a dying world where resources are at a premium. We got to find whatever we can, however we can, and as soon as possible. Because the strong prey upon the weak and the big strong robot took our power core. And either we have to get it back or if just find a new one to replace it. But uh, is there a, is there like a, an overarching plot that happens once we do that? Probably. There probably is. This is just like the starting plot, I would, I would assume. Eventually, likely taking us to Metropol, the city of dreams, and unlimited energy, which I'm sure if we made it there, we would just be exactly what is advertised to be. No reason to think otherwise, I'm sure. That's been our hour-long look at Primordia.